Aloha, and thank you for joining us for this important talking story. If you work in the tourism industry, then you know that the quarantine has virtually halted the entire industry. And one of the places affected by the closures and lack of visitor presence is Paia Town. This special surfer town with its locally owned boutique shops and restaurants has always had an identity all its own. Today, we speak with Tracy Lamont with the Maui Crafts Guild one of the legacy businesses in Paia, about what she sees on the horizon for the town. Hi, Tracy. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, can we zoom out here a minute? As you can see, due to social distancing rules, we cannot be there with Tracy in person, but we want to show that we're here with you in spirit. Thank, Thank you, you so much for engaging Maui now in this conversation oh. of Paia. Thank you for, for contacting me back. Absolutely, absolutely. I know you have a lot to share with us. And um, first off, you've sort of called yourself a, a somewhat of a historian to the Crafts Guild. Can you tell me a little bit of the history of Paia and how the Crafts Guild fit into that? Well, Paia is an old sugar plantation town. Most people that visit it know that. So it's, it's old and vintage. The buildings are old and and the Maui Crafts Guild started in the early 70s with about 25 artists um, wanting to have a place to sell their art, have a venue. And they started in the, the first building in Paia from the highway. It's an old historical building. So we had 27 years in that building. And then, you know, the artists that are still here on Maui, a lot of them had their roots there. A lot of them through the years have passed through as members and that's the legacy of the Maui Crafts Guild and we carry this legacy here us members now we appreciate our original members for that yes I can see that and I mean you're still there how many years yeah. have you been with the Crafts Guild uh eight, about 18 years wow fantastic yeah, there's, there's 10 time. of us right now so you've seen a lot of changes throughout the course of time yeah. And only I, 10 remaining, huh? Yeah, only, you know, we, we've had some changes. We've, we, we, that's about half of what we're used to. We've cha had a different change in our business plan. We have 10, which is a lot nicer with a group of business partners. Um, we have some internal changes. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, that's just how we keep up and evolve with uh, how business is on Maui. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. And um, you've sort of described the town of Paia as being scruffy chic. Can you tell us what that means? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, I've just seen that. I remember tumbleweeds on Baldwin Avenue, you know, way back. And the town is kind of a dusty uh, plantation town. You know, it's pretty hot and dusty in the summer. And so, you know, that just gave me that idea of being a bit scruffy. And, you know, even the people that are in and out of the town, all kinds, there is a bit of scruffy. And, <laughs> and, and but it's, it's the diversity and the contrast between those two terms. The diversity is how these little shops have evolved from, you know, kind of earthiness to a sophisticated, classy, um, chic businesses. And they bring a lot of people with that into the town so there's that contrast but that scruffy uh is always on the fringes you know mm -hmm. it adds to the charm yeah and the personality oh yeah absolutely <laughs> it's definitely a unique town in that way it's not um it's not completely polished but it does have those high-end shops like you mentioned and and how do you think that the the essence of the town is changing since COVID-19 well you know that plywood all over the place, that armoring of everybody's face on the, of their store is muffling, like a muzzle, like a, something. It's muffling the voices. Uh, it's muffling the expression. And, and really, it's kind of scary when you look down there. It's, it's, I'm a bit speechless on that, how quickly the, 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 the busyness has just been squelched. But, you know, really? Those little voices are out there on those little voices on the plywood. Those little stories are coming through. You can't squelch paia and its expression. Uh, that is so true. And, and how do you think that the face of paia may change if the tourism and the lack thereof you know, continues? Well, you know, that's a really 
hard one to answer. I could speculate, and I know what our, our choices are as the Minecraft Guild for our business to, you know, what we're going to do. I think uh, we all have to really hunker down and keep and know that we are boarded up on our physical store and just keep our stories and we're going to try to keep our expressions on the internet. Yeah. You know, we're changing, change, having to change our, our mindset a little bit and, 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 and to be progressive. So we're, we have a blog and we have a lot of our, our artists are all have really great Maui lifestyles. So we'll keep that face. And I think the other businesses that are progressive that I know of are looking at the opportunities that this presents from this crisis for the time being and the evolution in the town, if we can all just kind of keep our, our ambition and motivation and our optimism, we will all grow out of this in a different way and keep Paia charming. I think every one of those words was absolutely perfect, you know, the, from <laughs> the optimism and to the ambition and, and getting yeah. the voice out there, making sure that they're heard. That's so important, especially yeah. at a time like this where you feel a little squelched. Um, yeah. And, you know, the contrast of the, the bustling town to this yeah. boarded up ghost town. It, it's really it's scary. Dramatic. But yeah, it's, it's really almost post-apocalyptic, right? You get that feel of, ah, what's going to happen we just next? Gotta, we got to roll with it. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> loving the messages of support on all the boarded up windows. They're um, comforting. They're comforting yeah. messages. They and really that are. You, that's paella. That's paia. That's completely paia in a nutshell. And I think you shared with me that wasn't even um, messages from the shop owners. I yeah. know. I saw it on the news somewhere. I don't know what, but <laughs> there's these little guys out there painting these. Uh, I think, you know, they were interviewing them. They were painting and they were having these really nice voices to say, I like it. Uh, we, we may be painting a mural on our store, a nice mural. We haven't decided, but but yeah, that's an opportunity to work. <laughs> yeah, we're talking we about that. that. Yeah, yeah. We'll Actually, the first time I drove through Paia, I was um, a little alarmed. But then as I drove through, uh, subsequently, I saw all of the messages and it really kind of shared a little bit of hope. And it's really uh, sweet and comforting. Like it is comforting. I like it. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. So, so what do you think that Maui can do or the business owners in Paia can do uh, for an, a large impact for the future of Paia? Well, Maui can stay safe. They, everybody's got to really stay safe to stay here and to continue. We got to hunker and stay safe. And the businesses have to look at the opportunity out of it. They, you know, and, and not be stuck in, the, in what they're used to. Because I don't know, but it's going to evolve you know, the retail in the physical store, although we have Maui, we have Hawaii, you know, we have a niche. I think that'll always be there, but the businesses should keep their voice, keep their stories, keep their expression on their, on their web base for a while. And then uh, when we can go back into Paia, everybody's going to have an upbeat, new, different, positive, optimistic attitude. Yeah. Come back with a bang. We and will that the town can rise up and adapt as it has in the past. It will. Um, yeah, and I'm glad there's so many creatives like yourself who can put your heads together and, and figure out, you know, this sort of new trajectory for Pai. I'm, I'm excited about it, <laughs> but uh, that's just me. I, I live with my stories, so I, um, I try to stimulate my, the rest of my group, you know, and try to keep them motivated. We, and so that's what's the, the a plus about having a, a, quite a few business partners is we can inspire each other. But even when I network with the town, I try to, to continue that and they help me and they help us. We are all in it together. Please keep us updated as things unfold. Tracy, thank you so much for bringing this to Maui now and for taking the time to chat with us today. Thank you for inviting me, Patty. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> and for more features and information about what's happening here on Maui right now, visit MauiNow.com. I'm Patty Lee. Aloha, Maui. Aloha, Tracy. <laughs>